Happy second year, everybody. <sighs> okay, uh... So... Oh, there's like clouds in here. Oh, okay. I think I'll make one. Is that enough? The stuff in here, there are crabs, so. Oh, I think maybe a little bit more water. Today, I am using chinchampong. And then a little bit of oil. Oh, a little bit of oil I'm gonna add later. Okay. Mmm, it's spicy. Okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just add it in here. Ugh. This one is good at ASMR. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I've been painting. I love it. I started to see, you know, I wanted to see if I like it or not. And I started, and I honestly like it a lot more than I thought I would. It's so much fun. It keeps you so busy. It keeps you calm. And it's just so... It's kind of tedious work because um, sometimes you need to put in a lot of details in your painting. But I love that. It's so much fun. And it's so interesting how like, a little bit of a different brush techniques can do. Like what kind of um, result you know, it, it makes. It's very fun, guys. So if you guys want to find some kind of hobby that you guys can do on a free day where it keep, it'll just keep you busy. It's not too pricey. I mean, unless you're doing oil painting. I think oil painting is pretty a lot more pricier than acrylic painting, which is what I'm doing. I think I'm going to add this part in here too. Nah. 
Maybe I could add a little bit more water. There we go. And then the chili oil. Just gonna add it right now. Yeah, I think one will be enough. A little bit more water. It's a little salty. This is so good. Mm, I'll leave this on the side. Oh, so messy here. A little bit more coleslaw left. So. No. Mm. I might give some, well, I'm gonna leave some for Tong. And I'll uh, maybe take some to my parents. I mean, it's not a lot, definitely, but um, you guys understand, right? I really, it's so good. I just, just want to share it with people I love, okay? So I think, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. And I'm uh, gonna enjoy the rest of it right here and my add some rice <sighs> oh so good okay just lower it a little bit let's try this So the other day, a couple days ago, you know, Tong and I went to this Chinese restaurant and we were enjoying our meal. We were having some beer. And then there was a Korean, specifically a Korean family, mom, dad, and two kids, I think. They were sitting right behind us. But they were just going on about how there were kids, or maybe like around 10 years old so they were just like talking to them about how they need to be studying really hard and you know it's a, a lot about education and at one point they were and i want you guys to tell me what you guys think about this at one point they were saying if you guys don't study you guys are gonna end up at a place like this and serve like those people right there they're gonna be serving they, if you don't study Look at them. They didn't study, so they're serving right now. I thought I was like, I was like, wait, what did I just hear? And then Tong had to like kind of repeat it for me, and I was in shock. I'm like, are you serious? This is what you're teaching your kids? Like, if you don't study hard enough, you're gonna end up at a restaurant? I don't know. I just feel like it just that's such a wrong way to motivate them, right? It's such a bad way to motivate them to study. 
I because of me, maybe you know, I don't know because I don't have kids, and I might be different once I have a kid or something like that. But I just feel like if I had a kid, if I had a child, I would want them to find something they like instead of like, hey, study, 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 become a lawyer, become a doctor. Instead of that, this is what my mom did to me find something you like to do, like it's a, like find something you're good at. Yeah, like being you, you have to you have to do something that you want to do for the rest of your life, but you have to be good at it too. So it was a bit shocking to hear that. I mean, I wouldn't remember, right? But maybe when I was younger, I think the bar, I remember when I was seven years old. And I don't think I could remember anything um, before that. And as far as I could remember, my parents never said anything like that to me. They never said, if you don't study, you're going to end up doing this job. I don't think they ever said something like that before. But I do have one funny story. I don't remember if I told you guys already. But when I was like high school year, maybe eighth grade, we were watching this documentary and I don't even know what it was, but my mom randomly pulled out this question on me. And she said, hey, um, I think it was about teenage prostitution or it's something related. I don't even know what we're watching. It wasn't anything inappropriate or anything like that. But she asked me, hey, um, <clears throat> if somebody pays you to touch a part of your body, like, are you going to do it? And as a kid, you know, and being a daughter and talking to a mo mother, it should be like your reaction should have been like, ew, like, what the heck? And I was pretty young still. And I was a virgin. I didn't know anything. And I should have said, ew, like, what is that? Like, no, never. Are you kidding me? If we have some kind of reaction, that's probably what my mom expected. You know what I said? Can you guys guess what I said before I tell you guys? I said, how much? <laughs> if if I was a mom, if my daughter said, okay, well, it depends on the cost, if they can touch me or not, I think I'll be so shocked, especially if I'm not even like, you know, it's not like I'm old enough to make that kind of joke. You know, I was pretty young. So I was someone I was probably really genuine. I'm, and this, I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, I know that a lot of you guys will think of me a different way. No, I am nothing like that. I, it, you know, I will not. It's just something that I just, it's just not me. But anyways, I said that and my mom was kind of shocked. She's like, you're going to let somebody touch your body for money? And I'm like, no. And then I don't remember for the rest of the night. I don't think, I don't know if my mom was too shocked to continue the conversation. Or maybe she just didn't want to think much of it. So, I think I've been wanting to tell you guys this story, if not already. But, what was I saying before? But yeah, as far as I know, my parents never said anything like, like that to me. I'm really happy the I'm really happy where I am in life right now. To some people, I achieved a lot. Some To some people, I have not achieved anything. But I am very happy where I stand. And because I know I am going to be accomplishing a lot more. Which I want to. I'm not saying that I'm happy and I'm going to stay like this. I'm happy of the pace I am the pace I am in to achieve things that I want to do. Like, you know, picking up hobbies, which I did recently. One of the big reasons why I picked up painting 
like right now, um, I know that a lot of you guys are super supportive of, of it, and so um, you guys are really encouraging. But to be honest, I can't really free draw. I have to watch a tutorial and I have to copy what they're doing. But eventually, I have to move on from them, and I want to be able to just sit outside. Just kind of, you know, looking at the nature, the trees, and be able to draw that on my own without tutorials, without someone, t without somebody telling me, oh, you're doing it wrong, whatever. I want to be able to free draw that, you know. It, it, it doesn't have to exact, and that's not what I want to do. It doesn't have to be exact color, exact shape, whatever. But using my imagination, but being inspired by the trees in front of me, I want to be able to free draw like that. But I know it takes years, years it takes a lot of experience, but I want to start right now. And I don't think it's too late at all. Oh, that soup is so good. Look at this meat. Mmm. Yeah, this is. Oops, I have some rice. I don't think I'm gonna mix it with the crab. Oh, I'm being so full. I'm gonna just add it in here. I think I'll just do that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's add some here. Oh, to wash my sorry.
Oh my god, this is so filling. Too hot. My mouth is not in a good condition right now. So, oh, th these are just extra pieces. I'll leave this on the side so we could take it apart soon. Soonsies. Get it right here. You know, even like two years ago, maybe three years ago, I used to hate so many people. I used to hate them. I would not, I almost spent like, a, I spent hours of talking um, behind their back and how they suck, you know? But I don't know, it just, oh my God, I have muscles. I didn't add muscles. I just like looked at this cover, look at the packaging, and I bought muscles. I bought a bag of muscles and I didn't even put it in here. Oh my god, whatever. I'll make something up with it. But. Anyways, yeah, I used to hate people. I used to hate everybody. I hated everybody. I was so fed up. But now, I mean, I know why I hated the way I did and, um, you know, all that. But later you realize it's just, you know, you, get, you really get over it. After time heals, after a couple months and years, you completely forget about it and you're just like, you know what? I'm over it. Whatever. You know, I hate them for the way I used to hate them for what they the way they were. But whatever. I do my own thing now. They do their own thing. So I'm Gucci. Oh, there's so much meat in here. Oh my goodness. You know, Netflix has some good shows. Um, you know, I love watching TV with Tong before we sleep and recently we've been watching a lot of the like the nat nature or like Just a lot of the documentaries We watched the one in the ocean Which is insanely amazing. So there's one specific ah, so hot. There's one specific episode. I really like that one's um, going like super deep in the ocean where the light doesn't, where the light, you know, doesn't reach. And some of these fishes are amazing. The way they function to survive. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. You guys should really watch it. There's, um, one fish. What is it called? I forgot what the fish was called. But basically the fish eats rocks. That one had the, their teeth, like it sticks out like really funny like that. And fish, you know, they're fish. They have, their teeth are strong enough to eat rocks and they poop out sand. Look at how much meat I got out. And some fishes, they signal each other. Insane.
And yesterday we watched this, sh <coughs> this documentary called Mountain Goat. No, Mountain Ghost. Basically, a um, bunch of uh, photographers chasing after a snow leopard in China. To get good, not only get good, photo photo good footage of them, but kind of filming their... Just following them around basically, what they do, how mothers interact with their cubs. And the photographer, so basically it took them 10 days multiple multiple flights um hours of driving they finally reached this um i think it was like sixteen thousand feet off the sea level or something like that they finally reached there where they where the snow leopards are to be found after 10 days and i think they camped there for months to capture a couple you know minute um footages of these snow leopards but you could so see that this photographer is so passionate about what he's doing. He is so, his dedication is insane. Like not only him, but the people, you know, like local helpers. They were, they were so dedicated to, um, because they knew what they wanted. They were just searching for this one thing and they love their job. And growing up, I always, I was one of those um, kids that, that I would have, I would find something like that. Like I would find something that I am super passionate about, something that I just um, would go miles, would would go miles and days to achieve something like that. But growing up, I don't know. I just I don't have anything like that. I don't know if I if there's anything worthy enough for me to you know travel ten days, you know, to do something. I don't know. It really makes me think, what, what's one thing that would make me go out of my way, spend time, and all this effort? Like, do I even have anything like that? I I don't think I didn't think that I would ever say this after Korea trip because we ate a lot of seafood there. 
Oh, this is too much food for me. I'm done. I'm so full. I wish I had more drink, but I am going to take a bite out of this because it is so beautiful. Oops. I'm not a mad guru. Oh, it's kind of coffee now. Oh my god, that is so sweet. Oh, like too sweet. Okay, I'll take a bite. Mmm. What is that? I just like apricot or something. Mmm. Not really something that I like personally. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I just want to thank you guys again for watching this video and um, been, uh, for everybody who recently started watching me or you guys have been through all these two years with me. Um, I just thank you guys so much and I want to let you know that I appreciate you guys so much. It's been two years but there's a long way to go so I hope you guys are with me to this journey and just kind of um, watching me live my life. So yeah, there's just a lot more to come so stay tuned. Uh, follow me on Instagram to see more of my paintings and what I do when I'm not filming mukbang. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I upload mukbang once a week or film mukbang at least once a week. I will try to um, vlog more. I'm gonna actually try to vlog when I'm painting. Maybe a couple more days or weeks until I'm like a little better at it. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!